But now I want to jump into actually creating a sequence. So we do have a few options and you will notice across different platforms, they call it different things. Uh, it could be journeys, campaigns, cadences. Um, yeah, uh, we call them sequences, essentially all the same thing, just a series of scheduled events. Now we have a couple options. You could build off of one of our templates if you really wanted a baseline idea of how to do this. You could, uh, or the goal is to build certainly your own team templates over time based on best practices. So it's just plug and play for the team. Again, going back to really seamless user adoption. Initially though, you would have to build it from scratch or from magic. So we'll dive into from magic first because um, it's a lot cooler. <laughs> uh, so this is one of our many AI features powered by ChatGPT. So you could easily um, create, uh, let's see if I saved it. Sorry, I thought I had saved it. Um, I do have one here. So we'll just grab this one. But you're going to get a prompt and explain to Jason AI what type of business you are, who the, the audience you're reaching out to, and what the purpose of that. You can use improvement prompts to say, make it friendlier or more formal, uh, persuasive, make it shorter. Um, I'll be diving into the AI scoring card in terms of sub, uh, content length, but uh, just know that's certainly available. All right. So what it's doing is it's going to generate... Um, an appropriate email. I can regenerate it and try multiple times to see if I prefer something else. And then once you've gotten to the, the content you like, the template you like, you hit next. Now, Jason AI is going to formulate an entire sequence based on that value proposition and those pain points for you. And you can always edit every step individually or remove them or even uh, replace them in that workflow. Okay, so this allows you to really streamline the content uh, creation of these sequences to, again, just hit the ground running. The wizard still walks you through this very simple process at the bottom to get through each step. Um, we do have data as well. So if you have a prospect list that you want to import via CSV, absolutely fine. But if you're starting from scratch, perhaps you need a list of prospects. So you could segment here using filters like um, the state they're in, the company size, the industry, uh, their revenue, and certainly titles. Okay, so um, this would allow you, I'll just pull up actually a quick list. So whatever your criteria is, it's going to produce what is available. So in this case, I have almost 200,000 records. You can select individual records that you do wish to uh, download or save or you can select the list um, or even everything on the list. Sorry. So page or list. We always give you their emails. They are valid uh, or we validated them. If we have a phone number, it is included and certainly their LinkedIn URL so that you can automate your LinkedIn communication and your sequencing as well. All right. Okay. So another component of Jason AI, very exciting, is that now Jason AI can also read all the responses that come in from your sequencing. So although you may get them in your Gmail or Outlook inbox and answer them manually like you always do, we're still going to capture a copy of that response in order to categorize it based on sentiment analysis. And that will certainly affect your reporting, your custom triggers, perhaps your integration to your CRM. So this um, is definitely going to uh, the Email, the, the sentiment analysis comes in um, very nicely with the, the overall management of the system. But then reply handling takes it to another level where we'll read it and auto-generate a potential response. And the more context you share with Jason AI, of course, the more accurate um, or detailed the response will be. You can save it as drafts or even send automatically if you want to have more of an automated SDR experience. <clears throat> 